We play the Else Club Valley course back nine for the second part of the experiment with T-Ski. On this nine, T-Ski will hit the tee shots. I'll hit the approaches and she'll take over again on and around the greens. I want to see the effect of her average score if she had my iron game. On the first nine, we attempted to see the difference in scores if we both played her short game shots. She played really well from tee to green, but lost an easy seven to nine shots on the short game. There was a minor difference between us because she only really got into trouble with a few three putts. This is really heartening for me to watch her game improving so rapidly. If three putts are only major issue, then the future is bright because those are the easiest to fix with some practice. Onto the back nine, and what do you think? Will my approach game be more powerful for her than if I play her short game shots? Can I show you some areas to hit a golf ball if you don't have the same elevation and stopping power on your shots? We have to remember that I prefer missing in certain areas, while she may not be used to it. But let's see how we get on. When you have a fairway finding sister, you know you're going to have a great scramble partner for life. This should be quite easy. Let's also see if I do any better by having some approaches from the fairway Boy for a change. So in Malaysia, I wear golf shoes that are for men, but I also drive like a man. Oh, you can actually oh. see my gun oh. moving. <laughs> 235, I don't want to have a partial shot with a log wedge into this raised green. It's not going to stop in time. I want a full wedge in that's going to stop. So it's an eight time. I learned from my mistake the day before, so I squashed the idea of getting it close to the green. I laid it up to a wedge distance because I knew my distance with a full club and I knew the ball would sit down in time. So is this a good result? Can Tiski learn from this? Yeah, I think so. She could work on those hybrids and fairway woods to get them solid enough to leave a wedge into all par fives. This is essential for new players and high handicappers. Hybrids and fairway woods are superb tools for the new player because they're so much easier to hit than the long irons. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm sorry, I lied. I've gone straight at the pin. It could be cl close. I'll fill your hole, sir. Thank you. But I can't fill the hole in your life. <laughs> Sorry, boyfriend, I lied. I went straight at the Perfectly fine. I was on a downslope, ball below my feet and not feeling comfortable. If I could hit the green from here, I would be very surprised. The intention was to allow for a missed short right. In my mind, this would be the best place for Tiski to chip from and have a chance at a 4 or 5. Yeah, good shot, very nice shot. Here's a dilemma. Tiski likes to use firmer golf balls without urethane covers. Onto a firm, raised green like this, I'd prefer to hit a urethane golf ball. I know it'll stop in time, so I don't go in those bunkers behind the green. This is an area that would be a little unfair to draw a comparison. Does T-Ski have the elevation from this distance to even get it on the green? Maybe not, but she could definitely leave the ball short left for an easy chip up the green. Sometimes the best play is a layup, so we don't get suckered into hitting a club too hard to reach a pin we more than likely will not reach anyway.
Does Tiski have the stopping power to hold this green? Once again, playing to the front of the green, leaving it a little short, will remove all the bunkers and trouble on the left. This will allow for an almost certain four. Bird, 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 bird! Oh. Oh, you got that? That bunker. There's an eagle in the background. Um, Try that one again. Yeah, that's going to be a tough one. Here, Tiski tries a little half driver. Yeah, so the seven wood gets us in light trouble. The driver gets us in deep shit. Is that proof? We'll have to do a drop. Let's just skip this hole. In this case, players, the best thing you can do is pick it up and take a nice long walk to the green and support your buddies who decided to keep the ball on the course. Put down the double par and let's go. What we can learn from this hole is that driver is not always the best play just because it's a par five. It should never be an automatic move. Think of the radius of your driver arc. Will her driver find more trouble than fairway? I think so. Okay, you gotta know when to hold him, know when to fold him, know when to walk away, know when to run. Tiski could make a nice seven here and be happy with it. So, to make seven, she should only tee off with a fairway Great wood, time. so we avoid hitting it far enough into the shit. Seven is better than ten. Here's where I lose a lot of silly strokes. I have a nice shot into the yes, green and shot. hit it into a greenside bunker. This is an area we could all improve by knowing our distances exactly and remembering anywhere on the green is good. I got greedy going for the back pin and the firm raised green spat me out like a five hour piece uh, of chewing five. gum. Tiski was short sighted in that bunker and did really well to keep Straight the ball on the green. Down, okay. Downhill and down grain on these greens is like hitting onto granite tiles. Short siding cost Tiski yeah, at, at least one shot hole. here. Sorry, Tiskito. Beautiful, beautiful. Her best bet is to be a player and hack it down to the right so she can give herself a chance of hitting the green in three or four shots. Three shots is under her handicap, four shots onto the green is par for her handicap. My approach certainly helped Tiski because she may have panicked and hit the card destroying shot into the trees. In this instance, hitting it down to the right of the green would be the percentage play. Of course, the best option would be to hit a better tee shot. We aren't robots though, so we just roll with the punches and adapt, player. Oh, good putt. Cut it in quick. Good touch though, good feel. T-ski, T-ski, T-ski. Tiski grips Whoa. the putter far too tight. I could see the white knuckle syndrome when she putts. Players, tension in the grip kills putting. I got her to loosen the stranglehold on the grip and focus okay. on being a bit lighter. Tell me when ben, you're ready to putt. Just tell me when you're ready to putt. Must be nice and loose, okay? You must then hit it straight here. 
And I don't want you to, don't white knuckle the putter. If you, if you grip it tight, you lose your feel. So keep it loose. There, there we go. go. Prenshaw reckons when he was at his best, you could pull the putter right out of his hands. That's how light his grip was. Lightness equals feel. What can we learn from this experiment? Tiski could definitely benefit from some positional play on the course. Of course, she is a new player, so it's hard for her to execute everything to plan. But having a good plan is better than having no plan. She needs to avoid the three putt, but I know with less tension in her grip, she'll be able to develop feel. Her chipping has come a long way since she started practicing it. She never practices her approach, and of course she should. This is most evident in this two-part experiment. She gets herself into great positions with the drive. If her drives are not in the perfect positions, she just needs to plan and set herself up with the simplest shot possible. If she follows the way of the player, she will be breaking 90 soon enough. I see huge potential in my sister. She does play the game for pure fun, but I hope you can see some lessons in her play that you can adapt to your game to have more fun.